deserve it a few times but people can be cool some people do you know they let you live and all that they won't mess around with you oh shit come on stop doing that every time someone shoots me i think it's that hunter dude what are you doing are you serious and i was just talking good about you guys come on man Come on, man. Are you dead? Most of the character models, with the remaining ones coming out in patches over the course of the expansion. These models look great and give your hero much more personality in their emotions and animations. So, if you've never played World of Warcraft before, and you're the type of gamer that likes exploration and playing in a huge world, this is the game for you. End game content. In World of Warcraft, reaching max level is only just the beginning. Some would argue it's when the game really starts. You see, the main reason people play this game is for the end game content. This is content that Blizzard designed specifically for max level players, and this typically comes in the form of raids, battlegrounds, arenas, and various solo content such as max level quest lines. One thing endgame content generally rewards players with is more powerful max level gear, and the more gear you get, the more options you have in terms of what groups you can join and what content you're capable of doing. For example, once you hit max level, you'll run normal mode dungeons until you've got enough gear to enter heroic dungeons. Once you've got enough gear from heroic dungeons, you'll progress into either LFR difficulty raids, which are essentially just a way for players to see the content but not really experience it with any difficulty, or you'll progress straight into normal mode raiding, which has much more personal responsibility, challenge, and is more rewarding with loot and fun. That is obviously your main focus being a healer, but it also has a lot of points in the defense tree, so it is really, really tanky. It has the invincibility skill, which grants immunity to all damage for 12 seconds. So that is huge on a healer, because you obviously get focused in groups and that kind of stuff, because you are the one healing everyone, and everyone wants to get you down first. So if that happens, you can just pop this skill, and you can't take any damage for 12 seconds, which is a huge amount of time. And which is why I lent more to the Templar rather than the Hierophant. The Hierophant uses Witchcraft instead of Defense, which gives you more CC, but... Uh, the defense obviously just makes you a lot more. She delays the fire burst and manages to get a good hit into me, however she knocks herself off. As I chase, my blinding powder on falling damage triggers which grants me a free stealth and opener. However, as she cycles through water form, she's able to get a good amount of healing off and then chills me so I'm forced to switch to short bow and shadow step up to continue the chase. I throw a quick short bow number 3 to get a cripple off and then continue the chase, however, she goes into mist form and prevents my burst. I go straight into a cluster bomb to get more burst while I'm on top of her and then switch back to dagger pistol to continue the duel. From here Stop. 
stay down. I'm on a roll! Time to bust some heads. Oh, <laughs> 